A group of families in the West Shore area of Victoria is desperately seeking a wheelchair accessible space so they can run a day program for students with special needs. Their children have all turned 19 and no longer qualify for life skills programs in the public school system. So the families have been pulling their resources in hopes of fostering their students independence and community involvement, but they need an affordable spot to do so. Astrid Brownschmidt has the story. Gotcha. <laughs> Shane Downton loves cartoons. Born with Dreves syndrome, his mom says Shane is developmentally about three years old. He's had seizures from the time of six months of age. He's having about one grand mal seizure a week right now. And Corinne Eisenstein is like many teenage girls. Hang out with my friend, go on Facebook. Despite the physical challenges that come with cerebral palsy, Corinne enjoys volunteering and making presentations to school-aged kids about inclusion. Like a couple months ago, I think we went into Glanford and like middle schools out in the, out in town. Both Shane and Corinne attended a special program at Belmont Senior Secondary School, which fostered their independence, teaching life and pre-employment skills. It's a program they can no longer attend because they're 19. And with no similar day program for adults in the West Shore, their parents feared the worst. He was there for five years, and what he learned in that time is amazing. And to have that ending now, it's... Um, I don't want him to go backwards now. You know, These determined moms have teamed up with two other families who have 19-year-old children with developmental challenges. Together, they're creating a day program called West Shore Inclusion Works, which will offer the same high level of care their teens are used to. Without doing this, we don't, our individuals don't have, don't really have any semblance of a life. The four families have pooled their money, including educational grants from South Island Distance Education School, and they're coordinating support hours from Community Living BC. They have a little more than $40,000 to cover the cost of education, support therapies, and outings, and now they're looking for a building to house the program. The hope is that the community will help come together to help us find the space that we need to get this program off the ground. These moms say 1,500 square feet of wheelchair accessible space would be enough to launch the program and keep their students active in the community. It's an opportunity for which Corinne is incredibly grateful. So now, I kn now we know that we're not going to be spending the whole day at home and stuff. West Shore Inclusion Works hopes to start on the first day of school in September. In Langford, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.